Hey there everybody, this is Kat. I am going to be doing today a HelloFresh meal prep. Now anybody who knows me, friends or family or exes for sure would definitely know that Kathy is not a great cook, okay? I'm really good at breakfast. I think I'm good at breakfast. But uh, the amount of dinners I know how to cook, uh, I could fit on less than these 10, maybe even just five. <laughs> so what I make, I make in heavy rotation and I eat out a lot. But anyway, today what we're gonna try to attempt is look at this deliciousness here. I am going to be trying today to attempt to make chicken sausage rigatoni. So it says the prep time is five minutes. That's probably gonna take me 10. And the cook time is 20 minutes, which I hope is true, so that I could be eating in about a half hour to 40 minutes. So we're gonna try this out. I've never done this before. This is my first um, Hello Fresh meal I'm prepping. I'm not even sure if I have everything I need as far as um, pots and pans. I don't have a good set of pot and pans because that's how much I don't cook. But what I do have, I do, I can use, and I did make sure I have all the ingredients besides the ingredients that they send to us. Um, they don't supply like the salt and the pepper and the sugar and the butter and the olive oil, but I have all of that here. So hopefully we'll be okay. So you're along with me for the ride. So let's get started. Now, you might not be just able to see everything I'm doing, but I'm gonna try to make it so that you can see the steps that I'm doing. Okay, but I've never filmed before when I cooked. <laughs> so pardon the messiness, and I may definitely go out of frame when I need to go to the sink, because like I said, this is a first trial run. We'll see how we do, and I'm sure I can improve along the way if you're interested in seeing Kathy's cooking skills, which are a uh, few. <laughs> So let's get started. Okay, so let's open my package. I did make sure that I thawed out my sweet Italian chicken sausage mix. I had uh, put it in the freezer when it first arrived. This is the Hello Fresh um, chicken sausage rigatoni. This is how they send it to you. And it says that the ingredients should be a bell pepper, which a bell pepper looks pretty good. Okay, so they did send me a bell pepper. And then it says I should have some scallions, which I do. And they label everything for you. See, so it's labeled. Okay, then it says I should have rigatoni pasta. So, rigatoni pasta. It says I should have tomato paste. Got it. Then this is the Parmesan cheese. And they measure everything out for you. So this is saying this is one ounce, okay? And then they send me chili flakes for flavor. And they send me Italian seasoning. And last but not least, this is a cream sauce, four ounce cream sauce. So that's what's in the bag. We're gonna save the bag, because I did see on TV that you can save the bag to put your trash in your scraps. So that's what we're gonna do. So that way it would be easy, easy peasy cleanup. Okay, so what it says to do once we got all the, these ingredients together is it says I need one medium pot. I'm gonna assume that this is medium size, I don't know, but Looks medium sized to me. <laughs> and then it says that I will need one large pan. So, one large pan. I have a size much smaller than this, and a size even smaller than that, so I'm gonna assume this is considered large. Okay, so we got that. And then it says I need a strainer. That I don't actually have. <laughs> I used to have it. Um, let me see if I have something similar at all. I probably don't. I remember I used to, my dad had a strainer and I would borrow his. So I may not have a strainer. So we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way where I just hold the product back while I drip it out in the sink. <laughs> so we'll have to make that work for us. We need salt and pepper, olive oil, sugar, and butter. So let's grab that now. So I have salt and pepper shakers here, but I'm going to go ahead and here is some salt. Okay, here is some. 
some olive oil. Here is some pepper. So, salt, pepper, olive oil, and sugar and butter. Okay, so I definitely have sugar. This is sugar and butter. This is butter. Okay. This is softened butter already, but just in case, because I haven't done the recipe, in case it's going to be something that's just going to melt anyway, I do have some refrigerated butter that we'll have out for a little bit to soften. But this way it has the lines on it measuring a teaspoon or tablespoon so that I can just measure out um, what's necessary in case it is down to a measurement. Okay, so what it says to do is to first prep, I need to bring a medium pot of salted water to a boil and wash and dry all the vegetables, all the produce. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill up. It doesn't tell me exactly how much water I'm supposed to put. So it says medium pot of salted water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up maybe three quarters of the way I'm assuming. And I will just put the pot on medium um, until it says bring it to a boil. So until I add the salt water, I'm just gonna put it on medium until I add the salt to the water. I'm gonna step out of frame and I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot water to this pot. Okay, so we're gonna add salt to the... I'm gonna go ahead and get a dry, a dry measuring here. I'm gonna add a little salt to it. I have cooking utensils, I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have them. Okay, so we're filling up the water from the sink, just from the sink. And I imagine we just need enough water for the noodles to be able to be submerged and boil. So what I did for water here is I mostly have the pot full. So we're going to put that back on the burner. See, I already did something wrong. I turned on the wrong burner. I turned on this front right burner and the pot is really on the back burner. So since I already did that, we'll just move the pot. I was gonna use that burner, but we're gonna use this burner now. Okay, so this is gonna come to a boil. Um, since I'm gonna add some salt right now, since it said just salt water, I don't want it super salty. So I'm just gonna do like a, a leveled off tablespoon of salt. Hopefully that's not too much. So I'm going to put that in the water and then I'm going to turn this up to like not quite high but maybe in the middle of medium and medium high since all we're doing is bringing the water to a boil. Save this napkin because I can tell I'm going to need it. I am one thing a messy cook in the kitchen. I'm constantly dropping things when I do cook so it could get messy around here people. <laughs> okay so while that's bringing to a boil it says to wash wash the produce. So I'm going to take this sticker off of here. Okay, so there we go. So the produce that I have to wash are just these scallions and this red pepper. So I'll be back. I'm going to the sink. It says to wash and dry. So i got a paper towel here. I'm going to just rub and wash this bell pepper. And all I'm doing is rubbing it smoothly with my hands under the water. I'm going to unwrap these scallions from the plastic wrap that came in and just lightly rinse those two and shake off the excess water. Okay, so that didn't take but a moment. I know you can't see me washing the vegetables, but I mean, how many different ways can you wash a vegetable? So I don't think y'all need to really see that. But I will bring the vegetables over here so that when we get to chopping and everything, you guys can see what's happening. And put all these extra things I'm gonna need, sugar and butter and stuff over there. Okay, so let's bring the bring our vegetables over here and I imagine I'm going to need a knife because it's going to ask me to cut these vegetables I'm sure. So 
Move this back a little so that you can see what I'm cutting. Okay. Alrighty, so now it's said to wash in and, and dry them. So we'll pat it dry. Pat the scallions dry and the red peppers dry. Let's see if we can put this down a little bit so you see what I'm doing. Yeah. Maybe see less of me and, and more of what it is that I'm doing. Okay, so it says that I de-seed and dice the bell pepper. Now, I've never used bell peppers in any meal, ever. <laughs> so, when I do uh, this, I might not be doing it the right way, folks, because I've never done it before. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and use this knife. I don't even know if this is the right knife that I'm using. But when I read it and it says to core, to seed, and dice a bell pepper, I'm assuming the core is here. So I'm going to go just cut around that, I guess. That's what I would think coring a bell pepper was. And hopefully I'm right in my, my guessing. So that's the core that I just removed. So I'm assuming that's right. And then it says to deseed it. So I'm going to cut it. And I imagine that what we want to do is take all of this stuff out that's like, you know, seeds, deseed. And um, we basically just want, I guess, the red part. So I'm going to go ahead and gut that stuff out. And if I'm holding this wrong or I'm, you know, doing something dangerous, Again, I've never done this before, so you might have a better way of doing it. But since we're mainly going to be keeping just the red part, I guess we will just... And I did wash my hands clearly when I washed the vegetables and even before I started cooking anything at all. So definitely you would want to do that, especially if it's not just you that's eating this, but you're feeding this to somebody. So I imagine that this is the part of the pepper that you want, just the all red part. So that's what I'm going to keep. And set that aside. And again, I'm going to cut off that hard part and de-seed as much as I can. And I myself won't need a lot of this pepper because um, I don't really like my food too spicy. I'm more using this just for the flavor of it. So again, just keeping the, the really red pieces. I pretty much, after I decored it, just um, cut the pepper into four sections, getting rid of the the core and the seeds. And then we're actually, after I get the seeds and the decoring done, I'm just going to end up dicing the red part that we are keeping into a bunch of pieces and dicing it to add to our spicy sausage mixture I'm imagining. So like I said, please forgive me if I'm not doing this the way I'm supposed to. A chef I am not, and if someone's watching this that says, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing that. She's wasting so much of the vegetables and she's in danger of cutting herself. You're probably right. So that's what I did. So now I got these four lovely pieces of pepper, okay? So that's, hmm, smells good though. <laughs> it's gonna be a very aromic dish okay and then trim and thinly slice the scallions okay so and it looks like in the picture that they're showing me that i'm going to make a pile of the green end and a pile of the white end so they're going to serve a different purpose i imagine the white is for more of the flavoring and the green is for more of the color that's just my my guess like i said i'm not a cook so i really don't know so I'm going to take these white ones and I'm not going to be a fast dicer and I know I don't have a cutting board which is why I have a clean granite countertop which I Lysol down last night and wiped down with water before I started and this paper towel that I'm cutting up <laughs> which I'm sure is not the way I'm supposed to do it but I don't know how to really dice and cut and chop and all that goodness. So I am going to get a plate out that's behind you people at home in the cupboard. I'm going to put these peppers on there. And the water's coming to a boil, so that's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and take these 
onions. There we go. So now I got all these little onion pieces of white onion. Hope that's looking the way it's supposed to. Again, I'm not really sure because cooking is not something I do too well. And then I'm going to take the green part because it looks like that's some of it is supposed to be for color. So I'm just going to cut up some of this green. I wish I did have like a I have like two or three sets of knives. I'm sure I'm not even using the right knife. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. Okay. I'm sure I'm not using the right knife for this. And probably not doing it right. But my is not going to probably turn out as pretty looking as the picture. But who knows? It could. Maybe I uh, beginner's luck. But... I imagine that with all these great flavors that it will come out tasting delicious, I'm assuming. And fingers crossed it does, okay? So I'm done with the onion business here. I've made enough of a mess. I keep my garbage close by. So I'm gonna soup all this and I know people are saying, oh my God, she's wasting so much of the good stuff and I probably am, you're probably right. But I am not a vegetable person by any stretch of the imagination. I don't usually eat the vegetables. I eat all the meat and, and cheese and sauces around the vegetables, but I avoid the vegetables. Unless they are cut up small enough for me not to really notice them all too much. So since I was supposed to dice these peppers, I'm going to go ahead and do that now hopefully without cutting my fingers. I do know though when you cut peppers, um, you do want to try to avoid touching your eyes until you wash your hands. So that I'm definitely going to make sure I, I do. And these might not even be getting cut up small enough, I'm really not sure. But, like I said, I'm going to do my best and trial and error. I'm sure that the next time I do this same meal, if I should choose to have this meal again, I'm sure that I'll be more experienced at it and have the order in which I do things more strategically planned out. you get to see the whole thing as it's, as it's going down. Now, one thing it says is while I'm doing these vegetables, it says cook sausage, heat a drizzle of olive oil in a large pan over medium high heat. So let's go ahead and turn this on now because I never turned this pan on yet. So we're gonna put it on medium, a little between medium and medium high, let that get a little warm. And it says that I'm going to drizzle heat a drizzle of olive oil in a large pan. So we will let that get a little warm. It didn't say to preheat the pan. So as soon as I'm done chopping these, this um, last part of this red pepper, I will put some olive oil in that pan. And that is not a, a measurement <laughs> that I have ever heard. As, as an actual measurement, a drizzle. So I'm not sure what a drizzle is, but since it's really only supposed to be to cook the sausage, chicken, chicken sausage mixture in, I'm gonna assume a, a light little coating at the bottom of the pan, not, you know, too much. So again, got our peppers going here. I don't know if I'm gonna use all these peppers. That's, that's quite a bit of, um, red pepper there. I, I don't really know that I'm going to need all that. Okay. guess I guess it depends on how spicy somebody likes it So to taste. Okay. So I'm going to be uh, done with that. So green onions, the white onions, the red peppers. Okay. So we're good there. Now we'll add that oil to the pan like it said to. It said a um, 
a drizzle. So let's go ahead and do a drizzle. Yeah. I don't even know that it needs to be shook. I don't know what that's going to do, but I know most of the time when I open like a barbecue or sauce or something for the first time, I tend to um, shake it. So excuse me if I'm not supposed to, but we're just going to do it today. Okay. So I'm going to drizzle some olive oil. It looks like that looks like a drizzle. What do you, what do we think folks is, is that what constitutes a drizzle? I really don't know. Is that a drizzle? <laughs> okay. So since it said to heat up a drizzle of olive oil, and we're going to say that's a drizzle, it says in a large pan over medium heat, add the bell pepper and cook until lightly browned. So it says I'm supposed to add the bell pepper first. This isn't quite hot yet. It is warm, but I guess we don't need it to be smoking hot yet. So let's go ahead and add the peppers they say to add. It says till they're slightly brown. That's going to be very good smell right there. I love the way, I don't know how to cook, but I love the way food sounds when it's cooking. It sounds like you're accomplishing something when your food is sizzling like that. I know I'm silly, but like I said, I don't cook often, so I'm going to enjoy following these instructions. But they're just heating over the heat. We're just going to brown them a little, like it says. It smells really nice. So we'll let those brown. And it looks like the next step it said to do was to add the sausage and the white scallions, the white part of the scallion into it after that browns but it said to add the bell pepper and cook until it's lightly browned and slightly softened so three to four minutes so um we got three to four minutes to wait it's 436 or well, 437 it just turned so how about we wait till about 440 that's three minutes because it's been cooking a little bit while we we're reading the recipe it does smell nice <laughs> So we will, I don't even know if we're supposed to be stirring this, but just so that it all gets coated with the oil and evenly softens and cooks. So while that's cooking, our water has come to a boil. It says once water is boiling, and I don't know if you folks can see this, if I take it off the burner, it stops really popping, but there's lots of bubbles in there. So that means that's to a boil. So once it's to a boil, it says that we're supposed to add the rigatoni to the pot and cook it until it's al dente, 10 to 12 minutes. So since we know that's going to be 440 when we do this, 447 is really what we're looking at to kind of check on these, um, these noodles. Okay, so we're going to put the noodles in there and let them cook. So those are going to cook in there. I don't know if I should put the lid on it or not. I really don't know. We'll do it and that'll help it cook quicker. It didn't say on an open or closed pot. So now we got two more minutes for these peppers to get lightly brown, it said, and to soften. Once it does, we're supposed to add the white scallions and we're supposed to add the sausage mixture. But our pasta is cooking right now. It's to a boil. I can see it bubbling in there because my pot has a clear glass top so I can see what it's doing in there. Okay, so now hopefully we got one more minute left, folks, for the peppers here to be finished browning. One thing I did get is I also got this garlic bread, which was a, considered a side when I ordered the meals. And for the garlic bread, they actually sent instructions for the garlic bread as well. Um, yeah, I don't think we're supposed to put the lid on the pot because it's really bubbling. Okay, so garlic bread. Place garlic bread on a lightly oiled baking sheet. So this is my baking sheet 
right here. It's clean, but it's not oiled yet. So we're going to use the same olive oil and drizzle it over there. And my hands are clean, but just because I want to be clean and good about things, I'm going to take, wash my hands real quick and just kind of rub this oil on this pan. Keep it from getting sticky. So then it says, bake until golden brown 12 to 15 minutes at 400. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my stove to preheat to 400 because it'll take a little bit to get there because it's like at 100. It starts at 100 and when it gets to 400, it'll let me know. And then that's when we will put our loaf of bread on our oil sheet and we will put it in there. It says until golden brown anywhere between 8 and 10 minutes at 450 or 9 to 11 at 400. So we're going to do 10 minutes at the 400. But that's just off to the side for now. And it came buttered, but you can spread the butter around a little bit more because there were like a, maybe five little dabs of butter. Just spread it around. Okay, it looks like the peppers, folks, are softening. So since that's softened out, shake these noodles a little bit. Since, yeah, it's lightly browned and it's definitely softened, what we're going to do is add our... Sausage and white scallions. So this is our sausage mixture, folks. So we're going to use our kitchen knife, or kitchen scissors, I'm sorry, and cut through this bag. And then squeeze out our sausage mixture into our pan. Okay, so let's put this in there. Try to start from the bottom, kind of like a tube of toothpaste. Push it all out so that you get it, all of it, and all the goodness, because that's what's going to give you all the great flavor in your pasta. So squeeze that all out as much as you can. Squeeze that all out. Start to scoop this, scoop this up. We're going to turn down our heat a little bit. I really don't even think that we needed to have the heat as high as we did because it's actually browning a lot quicker than I thought it would. That's the one thing about when you cook something for the first time is I don't cook a lot and I'm doing this on an electric burner. And I do like real gas fire stoves because you can control the heat. Also, the pans you're using, some, you know, distribute the heat pretty evenly and things don't stick as much. And then sometimes things stick too much. So it did say to add the white scallion part to the mixture too. So we're going to add that right now to it. I think the green we're saving for when we actually stick it with the pasta bit. We may be overcooking these bell peppers, but like I said, to, for me that's going to be okay because I only put the bell peppers in for flavor. I don't actually eat them, which I know some of you who love pepper flavor or love vegetables are thinking, oh my gosh, she lets all of this stuff go to waste. But yeah, I, um, I wouldn't eat it anyway. But it's weird how this sausage mixture kind of got more solid. It's not liquidy anymore. It's actually like real little pieces of sausage. Let me show you what I mean. See, that's how it's starting to shape up. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. Now remember, we had said that we were looking for 10 to 12 minutes on that pasta to cook. So I've turned down this heat quite a bit because it's pretty much cooked. This part of it, the deal is pretty much cooked. So. 
And I like to separate the, the sausage really as small pieces as it can get. It'll help cook it thoroughly, but it'll also not have big chunks in the pasta. We haven't even added the, the sauce yet. So. It smells really good in here. I don't know if it's going to look the best, if it's going to taste the best, but it smells really good right now. So let's take a look-see at this pasta. So it's definitely cooking, and I know for a fact that it said 10 to 12 minutes. So we got about two to three more minutes on the pasta to cook. Now, it doesn't in anywhere say right now to add any butter. So I am going to add butter because that's what I tend to do is I add butter. Um, in my noodle water. So I'm just going to take a little bit, no specific amount, just like a tab of butter, same like a tab, and just put it in the water along with the salt and noodles. Give it a, a little bit more flavor. And it also didn't ask for the, um, I'm going to take this sausage pepper mixture off of the actual heat, let that just sit there. Until these noodles are actually getting a little bit more ready. So we know there's salt in the noodle water, we know there's butter because I just added it and I'm just going to add a couple of shakes of pepper. Mm -hmm. And I'll add pepper when the noodles are actually done to just a little bit, not a lot, but can never have too much flavor. Okay, so now we got the pasta going. We're going to drain that eventually, but we want to start the sauce. So it says, while the pasta cooks, stir Italian seasoning tomato paste and a teaspoon of sugar into the pan with the sausage mixture. So this was the sausage mixture, so we're going to put it back on the burner. And we're going to mix in, it says, the Italian seasoning which is this, the Italian seasoning, and the tomato paste, and a teaspoon of sugar. So we'll get a teaspoon out, teaspoon, and whoops, we're gonna open the sugar. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of sugar, it said. We got that going on. We're gonna do the tomato paste. And for the tomato paste, it said, two teaspoons for four servings. This is two teaspoons. We're only doing two servings because that's the meal program that I signed up for. So we're not going to be using this whole pack. But again, you can season to taste. We're not gonna need the whole pack, we're gonna use half of the pack. So here's about where half is, so I'm gonna push that half out, okay? 